Testing, one, two, nine, five, four, one, seven. Okay, here we are again. Got another beer for you from Britain. This one is Original Scottish Craft. I don't know whether, I think established, 1719 in Scotland, in Dunbar, Scotland. It's Belhaven Brewery Scottish Ale, a rich, nutty, smooth, a light colored beer, as you can see, 500 ml, 5.2% ABV. I'll read you the shit on the back. Our signature Scottish Ale is the beer we've brewed the longest and is our best-selling bottle worldwide. Belhaven Brewery nestles among the rolling barley fields of Scotland's beautiful east coast. Brewed using only the finest ingredients, Belhaven Scottish Ale boasts an intriguing biscuit malt and caramel flavour and has a subtle fruitness with an underlying herbal aroma. And there's some stuff on the little bit up here that I can barely read. It looks like it's been made for 300 years. <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. Like everything in Britain, there's history. Well, you know, Western history anyway. Um, straw out of direct sunlight because it's in a clear bottle. Uh, yeah, it's made uh, by the Bell Haven Brewery, Dunbar, East Lothian, Scotland. Let's get it out and see what it's like. Using the old little duck bottle opener. It's going to be an interesting one. The last one I reviewed was absolutely superb. And the last one I reviewed came in at $7.95 for that 500 ml can of or 500 ml bottle of superb beer so let's get this out into the glass it's gonna be a big ask I think to an ask not ask it's gonna be a big big ask um, to expect this beer to measure up to the one I just had before which was the um, that one over there on the shelf of fame, if you watched my last video, you'll know what it was called. It was Adnam's Break Even or something or other of that nature. Very clear, very red, uh, very clear beer. It's been well filtered, this beer. Um, the head is hanging around. It's like a strangler song. Um, it's looking nice. It looks like a, an ale that you might have down in, down in that part of the country. To me, it looks like a very British beer. Um, smell? I think the phone just told me there's only 20% left of my battery so let's hurry up with this one. The smell is very subtle, malty, bready. It's not really doing much for me. Okay let's get it down. Wow. You know, the burp, as I've mentioned before, when you burp, that comes up. It reveals some more complexities. When it went down, it didn't really float my boat. It had some unusual, there was something unusual going in, on in there. When it came up again, it actually, actually tasted quite good. It is malty. It's, it's almost like a shandy taste. There's an element of lemon sort of in there somewhere it's very 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 different very different wow it's looking nice it's looking attractive more sessionable <coughs>
can imagine walking along the tops of the hills near Dunquevy Road, Glenfarg, Scotland. And herding sheep or something of that nature and filling my boots, whatever that means. And then sitting back and watching the sun go down or the sun come up with a pint of this. Ah, there's something, there's something very earthy about this beer. It's very different. Rich, nutty, smooth, it's described on the bottle. Rich. There's something going on, but I wouldn't describe it as rich. Nutty. Isn't, well, we have to ask ourselves, is that nutty as in, you know, nuts? Or is it nutty as in, ooh? I think the former. It's not bad, actually. Smooth? Yeah, it's smooth. I 100% I agree with that. For a beer that is very clear, it actually has a very good mouthfeel. It's actually not bad. It, it's the kind of beer that sort of stops you and makes you think, wow, is that good or is that bad? Is it all right or is it, you know, terrible? Or is it, how do I feel about this beer? That's, that's what it does to you, it makes you think. And I have to admit, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, there's the bottle, just in case you want to give it a, a, a spiel, a go. <coughs> there's that. Sorry, it's reversed. Um, it's not bad. Would I buy this one again? There's the question for you. No, I wouldn't. It's okay. There is one question that you're all going to be asked. You're all sitting there on the edge of your seat with bated breath. Is he going to put this one to the shelf of fame? There's a bit of cigarette ash or something in there. There's, there's something I don't like about this beer. There's a taste that doesn't belong in the beer. Now, this is not shelf of fame material. Give it a go, by all means. You might like it. It might be the one that, you know, turns your life into something special. But for me, no, it's not great. And on that note, I shall finish this beer, have my dinner, and wish you all a pleasant evening. So, bye.